Hello and welcome. It's Bill Skladowski, and it's time for another edition of What's New Wednesday. Every uh, Wednesday evening at 8 o'clock, live here on Facebook, and then later on the blog at BillSkladowski.com and on YouTube, we have the latest um, tips and tricks for your iPhones and iPads. And then Friday night, of course, with iPhone Friday, kind of a little more in-depth lesson on how to do certain things. We've been talking a lot about uh, the updates and changes with the uh, new iPhone software and iPad software called iOS 14. And uh, tonight, no different. Couple of new fun changes in the Messages app, which, uh, you know, for text messaging back and forth, um, that will allow you to sort messages and screen out some of the spam and some of the junk mail. And when I say junk mail, I don't mean like email. I mean like if you're getting junk text messages. Is that a thing? Yes, it's a thing because I've started to get a few of them myself. But anyway, let's uh, head over to the phone and we'll, we'll check up on that. So messages, of course, the green, you know, the white bubble in the green background there that lets you text to people whether they have an iPhone or not. Although, as we've said many a time, if you go into your messages, like my girlfriend there, of course, she and I both have iPhones. So, you know, she's a blue bubble person. And if you go into somebody else who's not on, well, he doesn't have any messages there. If you go into somebody who is not, yeah, healthcare.gov, getting a lot of those messages that are not using iPhones, they are in green bubbles. So you probably know that, right? So anyway, with that in mind, you'll notice at the very top of the Messages app now, and if you don't see this, by the way, you might need to pull down on your phone a little bit, but I believe that that filters shows up automatically. So check on the filters up there, all right? And if you tap on that, it will show you these three categories, which are all messages, whether you know them or not, all right? Known senders, which are people who are already in your um, contact list. So friends and family, you know, businesses that you deal with and, and, you know, have in your contact list, right? And unknown senders, which are people or organizations that are not in your contact list. So there you go. I have, you know, the government alert and, uh, oh, call a guard. It's time for my annual checkup, I guess. Well, never mind. But anyway... All messages, and you can if you turn on all messages, you're going to get everything. So as you can see, I've got the healthcare.gov at the top. My girlfriend, uh, one of my one of the self development gurus I follow, Brendan there, and also the medical thing, right? That's all messages. But if I would only put it on to known senders, now I just get the people that are in my contact list. Very helpful, at least to try to keep some of the spam down, right? I mean. And I mentioned this, I think I mentioned this last time that, you know, with the election just passed, we saw a whole new level of email and text message and just craziness. No matter what side you were on, you got probably bombarded by text messages and emails. Well, this, making sure that you're only looking at the known senders, is a great way to make sure that you are filtering and getting only the people that you want. Now, having said that, if you don't see that ability to filter, okay, you may have it turned off on your iPhone or iPad. So let's take a quick look over at um, settings. Back to our silver gear, of course. You all, I mean, settings, we know that, right? And then it's under messages. So you got to scroll down, scroll down, scroll down to the green. Oh, don't go too far. To the green messages button there, right? And then scroll down. It's almost down to the very bottom of this. In fact, very close to the bottom where it says filter unknown senders. And as you can see, mine is turned on. And I think, but I'm not 100% sure, but I think that the new iOS 14, once you did the update to your iPhone or iPad, I think it's turned on automatically by default. So you would have to actually turn it off if you didn't want it. I think it comes turned on. OK, so there you go. So that's in under settings for messages. And again, then once it's turned on, then you'll have these filters available to you and you can choose to see, you know, certain messages or see them all. If you choose to see them all, that's fine, too. OK, now one other thing, and uh, this is another one of those organizational things that helps you to make sure you're seeing the right text messages at the right time. And that is the ability to pin a message or a thread 
to the top of the list. In fact, all the way up to the top of the uh, Messages app. Now, when we say thread, remember a thread is the messages that go back and forth between you and one other person or you and a group of people, okay? So my girlfriend and I, for example, you know, we're text messaging back and forth quite often. That's a thread. All the different stuff we send back and forth is a long thread, okay? So it's possible, and, and here's why you'd want to do this. If you're texting a lot of people or you have a lot of incoming text messages or whatever, that some of the important ones from your boyfriend or girlfriend might get lost down the big long list of messages. So wouldn't it be nice if you could always have that one up at the top so that if something comes in from that important person or persons or group of people that you see it first, right? And the way that works is by pinning that thread of messages to the top of the app. And here's how that works. So in the messages app, all I'm gonna do is I'm going to swipe now, you probably already know that if I swipe from right to left, I get the option to either delete the thread or turn off notifications from that person. And if you don't know what that means, I think we did that a long time ago in another one of our uh, you know, instructional little videos there. But now, the new iOS 14 has added the ability to swipe from left to, to right. Oh, let's go back. From left to right across one of the threads. And when you do, you get that pin it's hard to read because it's white on yellow but it's a little push pin and it says pin on it and if i tap on it and pin it now that thread goes to the top of the list so that no matter how many more messages i get from random people right whenever i open up and for example whenever i open up the messages app tap to open that thread is going to be on the top and if i tap on it there it is right so I can do this now with multiple messages. So for example, let's say I wanted to make sure I also saw when Brendan Burchard sent me a new message. Swipe left to right. And again, all I'm doing is swiping left to right across the message. Wait to see the pin and tap on it. And now he's up there too. Uh, they don't mix the messages. <laughs> but whenever a message from Brendan comes in, I can tap on him and I can respond to that quickly as well. And you can do this with, I think, up to three or four different message threads okay to unpin them right all you have to do is do a long press on the the face of the person whose thread you want to unpin so i'm going to just put my thumb right on brendan there for a second and then you can see it opens up the messages but look down at the bottom unpin on the menu down there right so unpin and he comes off of the top and goes down into the regular list of messages. Sorry, Brendan, just not as important as the girlfriend there. So there you go. Two cool things. <laughs> yes. Staying out of trouble, I am indeed, said Yoda. Um, two important and fun things you can do with messages. You can now pin messages from important people, threads of messages to the very top, so you always see it. And you can also filter out messages from people who are not in your contacts so it makes it easy to just see the ones you want to see and not see the ones you don't want to see. All right. Well, I hope that you want to see more of our videos and our uh, free classroom handouts. So feel free to wander over to BillSkoladowski.com, website below, and sign yourself up for our email. We just send out one email every weekend, which has the listing of the two videos that were on the past week. So we'll have this one come Sunday. You'll get an email to remind you and whatever we do Friday night for iPhone Friday. And then also uh, you will get if we do a, a handout and we usually do a free handout. I'm a classroom teacher. I was. So I always have a handout for the students, right? To show you exactly how we do some of the things on iPhone Friday. So there you go. All good. Well, thank you for joining me. We're going to keep it quick and short and to the point today. That's my new goal with all of these. Keep them like neat. So anyway, if you have questions or comments, please feel free to uh, post them wherever you're watching this, on Facebook, on YouTube, on the blog. I read and respond to all of them personally. And of course, if you have friends who you think would get some use and value out of this, please feel free to share. That's always sharing is caring. Have yourself a great rest of the week. We will see you Friday night for iPhone Friday. Take care.